Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a three tutorial video using the Natasha Denona Zendo palette that just released. If you want my thoughts on this palette, review in-depth thoughts, as well as a couple other tutorials, I do recommend you check it out. I will link it down below. I've already got that one up. But if you saw that review, you know that I wasn't really moved by this palette. I actually really did struggle to create looks with this palette. I feel like the cool and warm tones don't mesh well. She did it in a way where there are no transitional colors to make them more cohesive. I did not like the looks that I created. So today's mission was to create looks that I actually really enjoyed. And I think I did that. I loved all of the looks that I created. So I made this palette work for me. I will give you my final updated thoughts at the end of this video, but I definitely stuck with more monochromatic looks. That's kind of my tip for this palette if you did watch my review, because when I would mix from the two different sides of the palette in the review, I, I just didn't feel satisfied with the looks. I had some troubles, but today I stuck with three more monochromatic look kind of styles where we, we stuck to one side of the palette and I was a lot more successful. So this is the last look. We're gonna get into two other looks first and then yeah, let's just get into the tutorials. I'm starting off with Calm as my transition color. I'm using an Alamara Cosmetics crease brush and this shade is really, really light. It just creates the perfect corally hue underneath everything. It is a cream to powder formula if you don't like the cream to powders. Let's build it up with a little bit of relief. This one's definitely gonna carry some more vividness to the look, so be prepared. This is probably the most used color from this palette so far. I've used it, I think, in every single look I've created. I'm gonna put this a little bit underneath my lower lash line as well. Refer number 14 brush, and we're taking some of Vigor. This is one of the shades I'm not as familiar with in this palette yet. I used it a little bit in one of the looks, but it was just more as an accent color. So now we're actually using it as a foundational color. Very pretty. It has almost a little bit of raspberryness to it. Very, very warm. I actually want a lot of this color built up on the lower lash line. So we're gonna go a little bit heavier here. I'm gonna take some of Aura. I haven't used this color yet either. It's a really fun orange shade. This is gonna go at the center of the eyelid and you can see it's not super reflective. That was kind of one of the things that I was missing from this palette is it's it's supposed to be a zen palette so I think that's why none of these are crazy reflective but that's what I like about Natasha Denona so I was a bit disappointed. Like this shade, if it had some more like glimmer in there, I would love it. As you can see, I left a little bit of space open here. I'm gonna apply a little bit of luster. This is one of the last few shades that I haven't used yet. This is pretty and it creates kind of a fun, fiery kind of look to the eye. I'm gonna reapply some of that orange shade in the center and then we are going to build up some of Vigor the red shade out here to make it a little bit more intense. I'm reapplying some of the crease shade blend out into. So what is definitely missing from this palette is a lighter shade to apply to the inner corner to brighten up the look and bring the look forward. But here's what the shadow is looking like up close. It's a pretty simple look, but it's very pretty and you saw everything applied easily. I'm gonna be back with liner and lashes to show you. It'll be weird because I have this eye done, but anyways, yeah. I'll be back. Okay. So I popped on some Black Label Brazen Lashes. This is what it looks like. The lash glue is still drying a little bit and put on a little bit of black winged liner. Super pretty, very simple. This is one of the more wearable looks if you like a warmer tone. Very pretty, very easy to do. I mean, you can see the next look coming up. But <laughs> Here's how we look, really like it. Okay, look number two. I wanna stick more to the cooler part of the palette. I don't like this palette for mixing the cool and warm tones together. I feel like the hues don't complement each other at all and I learned that by the first two looks that I created. So I've learned we stick to our color stories here. So I'm gonna start off, I think, See, this color's awkward. The only color that it goes with is this color. Starting off with just a little bit of breath, using a good old MAC 217, and we're gonna use this as our crease color. Now, if you build this one up, it's really, really light. It's more so of the highlight color in the palette, though it's oddly the only really light shade, and the tone of this does not complement shades on the warmer side of the palette, which is the majority of the palette. So, I don't know, this shade's kind of awkward, <laughs> I feel like, but... I'm just putting the base down right here. It's like that 
it just created a hue. Really just set my Kaleidos eye primer. Nothing crazy. We're gonna take a bit of Zeal. This is an odd color because I feel like it's too neutral for these shades. We're gonna try it anyways. I don't know. I didn't use it too much in my first two tutorials, so we're gonna use it now. <laughs> and I guess we'll do a halo style kind of eye today. Now, since this is such a deep color, work it up little by little. Blend it out little by little so that you don't look like you got punched in the face because there really wasn't a good medium tone to use. So we just went full in with the dark shade. We're gonna work it out little by little. So it's gonna take a little bit of patience. I kind of like the neutralness with this because you could put something like Luster in the middle of this or Tranquil or even this shade right here. It almost goes better with this side of the palette than it does with the cooler side that it's in. Because I do want to use the cooler tones, I just, let's see if these mix together well. I'm taking just a bit of Mantra and I just feel like it shouldn't take this much guesswork to see what will and will not work together. Like you see how those are just weird together. We'll make it work. The undertones on these are just so different. We made it work though. I'm um, in a bit of a debate here. So I don't know if we should put flow in the center, make it more bluey cool toned, or should we stick to something more fun and neutral with the lid topper shade? I'm thinking flow would be better because I really wanted to create a cool toned look with this. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of the Kaleidos Tone Activating Eye Primer, just right here. This is what I used all over the base. And I'm gonna blend this in just to make sure the flow shade has its moment. It's nice and bright. Because her shimmers in this palette don't have the brightness and reflex that I like, I'm gonna help it out right here by just re-adding some brightness for it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of full, hmm, let's actually put it on a brush. So we're taking flow right here. And if I really wanted it to be more metallic, I could wet the brush. But honestly, when I'm doing palette tutorials, I, I don't like to wet the brush or put down glitter glue just because I feel like a palette, especially of this price, should work on its own. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my finger to kind of blend it out. See, it's the same level of depth as the other shades, so it doesn't pop like I want to. I really do feel like this palette is missing something bright to bring the eye forward because it's all one depth here. So we're gonna try and add a little bit more zeal. I feel like this video is just me complaining about the color story. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry yeah, if you like the color story. I just, the kind of looks I like to create, this ain't working for me. And it's looking not well blended. Oh, I don't think I should have put this color in the center. I think I would have liked the pink or something for something different, more of a pop. Taking a little bit more of Mantra, which makes this a weird blend, but okay. Kind of make sure the textures blend together. So I just really worked on building up the depth as much as I could on the outer corners. So then it's actually making it look kind of pretty. I'm gonna take a mixture of Zeal and Mantra and just run that along the lower lash line on one brush. You can see it's really green. So I'm gonna take some of Mantra to create a little bit more tealness. And I'm going back in with the shimmery blue shade. And I wanna lighten up the inner half of the lower lash line just to brighten everything up, kind of blend it outwards. Okay, all in all, I complained the whole ride here, but I actually really, really like this look. I can't wait to see it with eyelashes. So I'll be right back. And here is the final look with some lashes. So on the waterline, I used some of this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It's like a sparkly blue color. I'll have it in the description box and it's perfect with this look. And then I have those same black label lashes. I really love how this look turned out. I wasn't sure. I was a little bit worried, but it turned out really beautiful. Oh, okay. I feel much better now because yesterday when I did those first two looks, I didn't like either really. I like both of these. All right guys, it's time for the last and final tutorial and out. And I did the simplest look yet. I wanted to create an everyday makeup look for you guys since the first two were kind of crazy. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do, it's like three eyeshadows. I'm starting off with the shade Balance. Using a refer number 16 brush, you can see she carries a lot of pigments, so just blend her out. I'm happy that she included this shade in here so that you can kind of put any of those warm shades all over the lid and it would create a pretty quick everyday makeup look. As you can see, blends beautifully. It's her normal creamy matte formula. Also gonna build that up on the lower lash line as well. 
With Wayne Goss number six brush, I'm taking Mindful. Mindful is one of those cream to powder formulas, so it's best to place it down, build up that depth. This color was a bit more warm than I was hoping for it to be. I feel like if it was a bit more neutral, it would have a little bit more versatility with the other shades in the palette. So that's why this look is so warm. <laughs> I'm just slowly blending that out. As you can see, it added more depth to the look, but just a little bit down here in the lower lash line as well on the outer part. And we'll go back into that, but I'm gonna leave it as the base right here. The last color that I hadn't used in this palette yet was Sense, and it looked beautiful. You can see it has um, a more reddish tone than it actually seems. I thought this was gonna be the creamiest shimmer in this palette, probably the one that holds the most opacity, but a little, it's kind of like the shade Equilibrium to me. If you watched my original review where it doesn't adhere to the lid like I had hoped, it doesn't have as much creaminess as I had hoped to help it adhere to the lid. It almost falls just a touch more flat when you apply it to the eyelid. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong, like you can see, but if it had just a little bit more reflex in there, it would have been amazing all over the eyelid. So when I put this all over the eyelid, I was like, I can't just leave the look here. It still looks like it needs a little something more. So I decided to go in with Yama. This is the Duo Chrome Lid Topper. So it's not super pigmented, but I just wanted to add this, add a little bit more interest to the look because I don't know, to me, this was kind of boring for a tutorial anyways, but it's pretty for every day. Uh, but I'm just putting a little bit of Yama all over the eyelid just to add a little bit more dimension to the eye and that did help and again we're missing that shiny highlight color or something but I mean this is the look it's it's really really simple I'm gonna work on doing the edges a little bit more but I'll be back liner and lashes and you will see the final look all right and here's the final look I just did a brown eyeliner in the water lines and of course I winged it out as well and then I'm wearing Ardell Demi Wispies and I really love how this one turned out it's just a great everyday smoky eye very simple and I've learned with this palette, I just prefer the simplistic looks using only two or three shades. And it turned out really pretty. So overall kind of updated thoughts now that I've created more looks, I've used the colors more. I still stand by the fact that the quality on this is very, very nice. But I also still stand by everything that I said in my review that I wish there were some more reflective shimmers. I wish there was a little bit more variation in depth. I wish there were some deeper shades in here. And I also wish there were some lighter shades in here as well. And I'm just not inspired by this color. Color story. I don't like this color story. That's a complete personal preference. I was able to get looks that I wanted to, but as a cohesive color story, this isn't as cohesive as I would like for me to make this palette work. It's all in the simplicity of sticking with the more monochromatic color story here using just the cool tones for one look, using just the warm tones for one look, and overall, it's just not a palette, not a color story that I jive with. But if you like the colors, you like the finishes that are in here, I do think you will enjoy it because the quality is very good. And even though I don't love this palette, I hope that this video was helpful to you, and if you recreate any of these looks, make sure to tag me. I love seeing when you guys recreate my looks. Let me know what your favorite look was that I did down below. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you all in the next one. I guess have a good one.